swear. Look like one, maybe a little bit, but not so much. She's no longer in this life. My drugged out, lovelorn, and eventually catatonic wife. But her I still adore. And since she stopped breathing, I can't even write anymore. Her words and curves used to make my impulses dance with the truth. Some inebriated romance man, my pen advanced with maybe like a modicum of coof. Fingers crossed, eyes closed, steadfast towards the truth. My words advance left to right, relatively speaking, and hopefully in the general direction of the truth. But now she's gone and my existence is a bore. And whatever the Fuck them, writing is instantly forgettable. I purchased these m -m 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 metonyms and metaphors on clearance at the dollar store. Actually, what you gotta do is you gotta walk through the dollar store, you gotta walk out the back exit, you gotta walk into the back alley, take a left, a hard left, walk past the bang out hangout, and eventually you're gonna run into a dude named Horace. And he really is the plug. He's got the drop on all figures of speech. Two for one, three for five, but buyer beware, it's best to be well read. If not, you might find yourself overpaying for some bootleg Bukowski? <laughs> Maybe some uh, watered down Ezra Pound? Please keep in mind, there's no actual buybacks in actual life. It's been several lukewarm minutes since I had any type of appetite. My teeth, too, they fell out of my mouth last night and I dropped my pen, which is now too heavy to pick up off the floor. It's 4 a.m. on Cinemax and you know what that means. Ha <laughs> ha, my writing is a porn movie with a plot. All types of soft core. My ghostwriter's ghostwriter has a ghostwriter whose ghostwriter is Recently deceased, regression is vicious. That's what she always said. I just hope that she found peace. And since she's no longer in this life, I'm gonna say it again. I've completely forgotten how to write. Back when I used to compose, she would let me go in raw, cause it was love and all that. My muse had these titties. They were heroin infused. <laughs> and drinking her breast milk was like getting faded off the Similac. No need to cook up and tie off. This horse didn't leave any tracks. All I did was lay back and latch, compose a plan of attack, write word after miscellaneous word, fade to black, and then I. <laughs> Crashed. I woke up two days later on a urine stained mattress. On the floor there were shards of broken glass. I walked to the bedroom window and looked out, and there she was, from five stories up, lying face first on the overgrown grass. On the bedroom floor was a memento mori. It read nothing indoors. This too shall come to pass. Needless to say, I put my pen away. I extinguished the fire inside with Jameson, mostly Jameson, a lot of other drugs, but mostly Jameson. And I kind of put my pen away. Needless to say, I put all these words away. I drowned out the fire inside with a lot of whiskey. Just kind of sat there and imagined everything that I'll never ever say. Butter roll, not butter ball. <laughs> not a turkey, butter roll, butter roll, thank you.